welcome to episode one of our F1 2021 Breaking Point Let's Play. Today, our friends over at Codemasters hooked us up with F1 2021 a little bit early so we could show off some gameplay and start our Let's Play. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing with Breaking Point. Breaking Point, for those of you who don't know, is sort of like F1 Drive to Survive, but you play yourself. Real quick before we do get into that though, I did want to let you guys know that today we officially launched our AR-12 sim racing gloves that we've been working on for the past couple of months. Seriously, they are super, super cool. They're made of this super nice breathable material so your hands don't get too hot while you're driving. They've actually got armor along the index finger and up the thumb so when you're driving, you're not wearing out your gloves so they'll last forever. And best of all, you can customize them to your heart's content. You can put your own name and driving number on the gloves as well as your country flag on the thumb. I'm seriously so proud of these gloves and so happy they're finally available for you guys. If you do want to check them out, click the link in my description down below. That'll take you over to the IMB Racewear store where they can help you customize your gloves and answer any questions you guys have about them. They ship anywhere in the world. Go check them out. It's a great way to support the channel and the guys over at IMB. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who picked these guys up. Anyways though, without further ado, let's jump into our Breaking Point Let's Play. We're actually gonna be running this on hard. And right off the bat, you've actually gotta choose your team. You're given five options for the underdog teams. Alpha Tari, Aston Martin, Alfa Romeo, Haas, or Williams. What should it be? No lie, I actually like the idea of Aston Martin because in 2020, we'll actually be racing point, will be the Pink Panthers, and then the following year, we'll swap over to Aston Martin, which should be super, super cool. I want to see how that's done, so let's choose Aston. Oh, oh okay, well... We're right into this thing. Okay, so let's see what goes on. An incredible race. Look at it. Every driver is being so aggressive. Check it out. They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric, and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. OK, Aiden, you're doing great. Keep focused. You know what to do. Copy that. All right, so welcome to Formula One 2021. We're currently in the Formula Two cars. We are Aiden Jackson, and we need to win the F2 championship. The game's actually telling me I need to finish first if I want to win the F2 championship. Anyways, though, I did actually nearly forget to mention, but coming up in episode two of this series, we're going to be giving a couple of copies away of F1 2021. So if you want a chance to win, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. Anyways, I will take that overtake up the inside with a little bit of DRS, simple one. Up in front, we've got a 2.6 second gap. No way, it's Nicholas Latifi. 2.4 second gap, 2.3. We're gaining, we are so fast out here, okay. No lie though, I completely forgot how slidey the Formula 2 cars are. It honestly feels like it has no aerodynamics whatsoever. I have zero confidence sending this car through the corners flat, as you can probably tell. Here we go, gained on Latifi. Can I look up round the outside? through this section of the circuit. Not a really conventional place to go for an overtake, but I will gladly take that one. I've got time to make up. We're up to P2, still drifting around this circuit. 1.4 seconds to P1 and one lap to go. Come on. I'm gaining nicely on P1. I'm going to get a nice slipstream and some DRS down the big straight. I'm not really gaining as much as I would like. It's it's quite slow, this thing. Nope, do not have the room to go for one there. 
AI blocks the inside line. Whoa, and I nearly crashed into the back. I think I did actually hit him a little bit. Am I gonna be able to get him round the outside? Switch back to the inside, lol, JK. We're going the long way around the corner. He looks back up the inside to try to defend that. No way, no way. We take that one. What a beautiful move. P1! I'm already learning that the AI in this game is so much improved. That was sick defending. That is P1 though. F2, champion of the world. Let's go. Showing huge potential. We pick up an achievement. By the way, I'm playing on Xbox Series X. Oh, actually, we're getting two achievements. The first of many. You got first place. A thank you. Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Was that Lauren Stroll? They did Lauren Stroll dirty. Now you've made the leap to Formula One. No surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. Lando looks very Hasbro unimpressed. Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures all over my bedroom walls, you know? Just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> No! The new Devon Butler. No! I don't want to be the Devon Butler so of the world. The you come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. This is actually so sick. Like, I'm so impressed. It's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect with, uh... Ocon's expression, but looks good. So here we go. It's time for F1 2020. A new season is upon us after all. It is the start of a brand new Formula One season. Anyways, so we've got some emails. We've got Otmar who's emailed us. That is so cool. He said, anything you need, just ask Brian. Sounds good. We've got Jeff who's given us some information and my teammate is Casper. Okay. He said, Aiden, I noticed that you left your paperwork over in the garage. So I handed it into your PA. You can thank me later. And hey, good luck out there today. It's your first race but let's see what we can do together. That's sweet. I guess without further ado, let's go off to the first race, the Australian Grand Prix. Australian Grand Prix, nine laps remaining. This is so much drive to survive. That's so sick. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. All right, so let's catch up to our teammate. We're in P14 on lap number six. Objective, catch up to Ackerman before lap 11. All right, so my teammate is up in P10 right now, 7.3 seconds in front of me. Let's catch up to him. We've got Daniel Ricardo in front of us. Let's see if we can send one past the Aussie. We're all in the medium compound tires, so it's completely fair running, except I think I'm a pink Mercedes because this is 2020, right? I'm basically a pink Mercedes, so I, I should be super fast out here, actually. Also, I should be honest that when I was setting up my racing wheel for F1 2021, I actually ran into a lot of problems. Obviously, this game is so new, it hasn't even come out just yet at the time of recording this, so over the next couple of days and weeks, there's gonna be a lot of bug fixes and patches and so on, so hopefully for the next episode, my racing wheel is working properly. I've had to kind of fudge it to get to this point. We've actually got to remember though, in F1 2021, there's a bunch of new damage stuff, so I cannot be super aggressive with the car like I used to be. We can damage our side pods, we can damage our rear wing and so on, so 
I've kind of got to be careful going for overtakes, but I'm going to send it up the inside of George Russell. He tries to look back up the outside. No, no, no. I was a bit sketchy, but I held that one. My teammate, though, is 5.3 seconds in front, so we are catching him. But we've got to get in front of Daniel Ricciardo. We cannot waste that much time back here. We've got DRS now. This is good news. Come on. Let's keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. I've got DRS battery cranked. Do I send one up the inside on the late breaker himself? I do. I got the nose in. Ricardo was very kind to not push me off the circuit completely. In front of us now. No. No, 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 no. Devon Butler is about to get the biggest yeet of a century. If you've never seen F1 2019 before, Butler was the rival in that series, and he's basically a massive dickhead. I've already closed in on the back of Devon Butler, and we're actually gonna pull a Sergio Perez and nearly push him off the circuit. I will take that. Up to P11. Okay, so what are we thinking? Do I actually have to go for an overtake on my teammate? I'm within one second, but I'm not sure. Like the, okay, there we go, okay. So the objective was to catch up to him and close into the rear, which now we have. Time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other though, because Devin Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack too. Aiden no. Gasper's not your priority, we need you to defend. It's okay. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11 on this card one. And it doesn't. Bro, what are you doing? Looks like damage is What are you doing? Is he okay? It's Casper okay. He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it. So I'm sure there's going to be fireworks in the Racing Point Garage this evening. There will be Crofty for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely, and I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aiden Jackson, not how his F1 race debut should have gone. You absolute donkey. Do I really need to catch up to Butler now? The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aiden? <laughs> yeah, God's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. All right, well, now I've got some damage. I just need to finish the race. There are four laps to go, and I do have Devin Butler in front of me. Let's check the damage real quick. It actually, wait, is my car fine? My car has no damage. What are you talking about? No damage at all. Okay, that means full attack. Devon Butler is going down. He's 2.8 seconds in front. Come on. Devon Butler did it to my teammate. I'm gonna do it to Devon Butler up the inside. Take this man out of the race. Great maneuver. You Almost took myself out of the race. Whoa, he's coming back up the inside. Okay, he's he's not he's not gonna be very happy after that one. I can guarantee you. Doesn't go for a dive bomb up the inside. That's very unlike you, Devon Butler. Anyways, I'm officially in the points. In my first Formula One race, which is awesome. There we go. Race number one in the books. Our first points in Formula One. I'll take that, no problem. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Casper. Listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. Oh, Butler. I'm um, Devon. I didn't see you there. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't sailed in yet. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way, mostly. <laughs> And uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. 
almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth Racing Point were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Aiden. let's talk about that incident with the teammate. Man, this is, this is insane. It really is. I definitely see what the developers mean when they say, this is F1 drive to survive, but in the game, that's so sick. I guess with our first race under our Formula One belt, we will head over to the second chapter, the Chinese Grand Prix, okay. It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai and this track fast becoming a rookie's favorite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aiden Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Crofty. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammate. And the rumor in the paddock, Crofty, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go, Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin, he's marched his teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. OK, Aiden, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. You absolute spoon, buddy. So where are we? We're P14, eight laps to go, or seven laps to go. Recover 10th position before the end of the race. Okay, I've got to overtake three people in front of me. Jeez, okay, so let's go turn this car up. Lando Norris is up next and then Esteban Ocon. Here we go, we're already gaining on Lando Norris. Can I just say as well, the suspension in this game feels absolutely insane. Fastest lap of the Grand Prix with a purple sector three. You'll love to see it. Okay, running deep, running deep, running deep, running deep. That's insane. Oh my God, this car. This car. Now that we've got past Lando Norris, Esteban Ocon in front, and then and then Carlos Sainz five seconds up the road. Okay, so I'm going to need to properly work to get that P10 back. I've only got five laps or so. This isn't good. One lap later, we've already caught up to Esteban Ocon. And as well, Carlos Sainz isn't actually that far in front. There's a lot of traffic going on in like P10 or so. So I might be able to do this actually. I've still got a couple of laps, come on. This is where I need the extra speed, please. We've got the DRS. We've got the battery turned up. I'm running out of battery and I don't really have the straight line speed to compete with that thousand horsepower Renault but I'll gladly send it up the inside. That was a bit sketchy. Please tell me that's close enough for DRS. It's not, it's not close enough. And I'm still two seconds behind my teammate and I'm only gonna have one lap to go. Are you kidding me? There we go, got DRS, got DRS gaining, gaining on science teammate, 1.7 seconds in front. This is gonna be close. This is gonna be really, really close. I've got to clear science as soon as possible. That was the least legit overtake I have ever seen in my life. But I have to do it. This is my last chance. Use up some battery. I'm half a second away. I'm gonna get DRS. This looks close enough. That's not good. Close on in. Get the rear grip under the car. This thing is so poorly balanced. So poorly set up. We've got the DRS. Swing it to the inside. Pass my teammate. Back up to P10. Stomp on the brakes. Don't let him look up the inside, take it slow and steady. That's it, that's all I need. We got him, it was late, it took me so long to do that. P10, points back to back. Right, Oi, he was win. not a happy boy. Casper, what the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper. Come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper. Ackerman! Mom, cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? Right now? No. 
<laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted your All right, I'll give you that one, Devon Butler. That was well played. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. He didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong. <laughs> Chin up. You know, maybe maybe he's not actually the bad guy after all. Anyways, though, unfortunately, we have to pause the game there. That is all we're allowed to show for today. Honestly, this is super, super cool. I cannot wait to see what comes next. If you guys want to see and enter our giveaway, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And don't forget to check out the brand new AR-12 Sim Racing Gloves. I cannot wait till you guys get them. Make sure to send in some photos when you do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!